Hello, virtual learners. Today I have another story from Mo Willems. Mo Willems is an incredible author who's known for his writing of the pigeon books. He's also written Knuffle Bunny. He writes the elephant and piggy books. We'll read many more stories of his throughout our virtual learning year. This story is called The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. And then it says down here, with special guest star, the duckling. My job for you today, at the end of this story, I want you to see if you can tell me who was in this story. Here we go. The pigeon finds a hot dog. Do you like to eat hot dogs? The pigeon finds a hot dog. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. There he is. Look at what he sees. Oh, ooh, a hot dog. Flappy, flap, flap. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ah. May I help you? Scooty, scoot, scoot. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog? My hot dog. Ah. Uh, I have a question. I have never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Well. They are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really... Wait a second. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course. Enjoy. Go ahead. Ah, uh, would you say it tastes like chicken? Can you believe this guy? What? It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. Uh. So, it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it! It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine, mine. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? I think I've got an idea. You know, you're pretty smart for a duckling. Mm, he needs mustard. <laughs> and can you find the hot dog that they were eating? You've got it. Okay, so my question was, who are the characters in this story? The cool thing in this story is it shows you right on the front cover. You've got it. There were two characters, the pigeon and the duckling. Now, if I was to say where the setting was, I can't really tell you. The pictures in Mo Willem's book often don't show you where they were. I don't know what the setting was in that story. Sometimes that might happen to you if you're reading a book. You don't know where the story is. Go back and look in the picture. See if it gives you a clue. If it doesn't, then no, it didn't tell you the setting. Finally, our question is what happened in the story? Well, in this story, the pigeon found a hot dog and the duckling wondered what it would taste like. In the end of the story, the pigeon decided to share with the duckling. Thanks for listening to my story. Tomorrow I have another pigeon book from Mo Willems.